Lovely. How are you? I'm fine. Doing fine. Okay, we're gonna get to it though. What, what advice would you give your younger self? Um, I would tell my younger self, believe in you over anything. There's no voice that is more important than yours. There's no voice that knows more than you. There's nobody that can take you further than the belief in yourself. 100%. Believe okay. in you first. Period. Okay, okay. Can you go a week without the internet? Hell yeah, I could do a month. What, for a thousand dollars? I could do a month for free, but yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I could. Keep the phone still phone. Keep the phone still phone. Okay, fair. Okay. Would you go three years without the internet? Okay, 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 fair. Okay, what's something you had to tell me, what's something you finally had to come to terms with? I had to come to terms with the fact that my way is not better than the universal plan that was already mapped for me. Thanks. okay, okay. Tough. <laughs> If you summed up your life in one word, what would it be? Journey. You said journey? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody had to go through a journey. Mm-hmm. How easy it is for you to forgive? On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. How easy it is for you to forgive? Five. Okay. Is it attractive when a man get jealous about you? True or false? I'm sorry? Is it attractive when a man get jealous about you? True or false? False. Okay, okay. How petty are you? How petty? Are you petty? No. I'm not okay. petty at all. Okay, okay. I don't feel no need to be. I'm great. I know that's right. What's the advantages of being single? Oh, so many. Oh, my goodness. So, the advantages of being single. Number one, no talk back. Number two, no questions about where you been, where you going, how come, why you drunk, why the blah, 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 blah. None of that. Number three, you always get the good side of the bed. Your pillow always cold. Number four, you get to choose what you eat every day. You don't ever have to consider another person. Number five, you can leave whenever you want to. I mean, you can exit stage right so fast. No problems. Okay, okay. Why do you feel like this the hoest generation ever? Hmm? Why do you feel like this the hoest generation ever? I don't feel like this the hoest generation ever. I feel like this is the most honest generation. How they honest? Okay, so this generation is very much like this is who I am. You should take it or leave it. I should not have to apologize for who I am. If I'm poly, if I'm gay, if I'm this, if I'm that, if I'm the third, I should be accepted for that and I shouldn't have to answer questions about it. And as a matter of fact, I won't. Okay, okay, cool. Love cool, it for cool. them. And no such right. thing as a poll in this generation. I love that for them. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, what's that girl name? Um, Hold up, stay focused on me, focus on me, focus on me. Okay, apologize to a body part you have used. Apologize to a body part that I have used? Overused. My liver. Dragon, you a dragon? No, I'm not. I'm actually a smoker, and that's why the liver has been overused. Because the times where I did drink, I wasn't being honest to myself. Because drinking's fun, though. Drinking's okay. hella fun. Okay, okay, fair. fair. It make you sick. It make you sick. If you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? My first wish would be to have. All of the people that I want to work with musically want to work with me. My second wish would be to make sure that everything that I create from here on out 
will be remembered forever into the infinity. Will be on your would be would be to be remembered to infinity. Mm -hmm. And then my third wish would be that whoever I get to touch, like whosoever life I touch, I leave them better than I found them. Okay, okay. What, what's the purest form of love? Patience. You feel like, uh... You know, you feel like only rich men is gonna have options, and only poor and average guys is gonna submit to women. Nope. And why not? That's garbage. Men do what they want. Rich, poor, otherwise, they always gonna have the audacity. Okay. What did your past relationships teach you? That I'm super, super valuable. Okay. Very important. Worthy of everything I'm asking for. Something you forced to do that hurts you a lot. Do it on my own. Okay. Would you get your parents' name with initials tattooed on you? Hell no. Would you get your boyfriend or somebody oh, tattooed on no. Never. Husband? Ain't no way. It ain't no way for me to give you. Okay, okay, okay. What's your uh non favorite? What's your favorite non sexual act of intimacy? Oh, uh, oh, is kissing considered sexual? Uh, no. Okay, if it's not kissing, it's really um like cuddling on the couch, just. Okay. Oh, so wonderful. Can you, can you be friends with somebody you was in love with? In love with me? Yeah. I'm all my friends in love with me, so yeah. Period. They how all love you, me first. How, how do you find genuine happiness? Um, and by being at peace with myself. Um, in my mind, controlling the thoughts that I have. And being okay with not being in control of every moment of my life. Okay. Could you go a whole day without talking for ten thousand dollars? Hell yeah, I've done that ten times over. Okay, okay. Besides your own zodiac sign, do you love besides your own zodiac sign, who what zodiac sign do you love and why? Gemini. And why Gemini? I'm a Gemini myself. I love Geminis because <clears throat> they're so misunderstood. They're multifaceted people who love as equally as they can hate. And I don't think that people are okay with the fact that like you can give just as much as you can get. And Geminis really show you that like there's a juxtaposition between loving something and hating something. And I could punch you in the face. Or I could give you a hug. It just depends on how you affect me. Okay, okay, okay. I think the worst thing that ever happened to the black community with people who are obsessed with zodiac signs. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Sure. What, what what would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? What would I do differently? What would you do? It. What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? Um. I would probably tell people the truth about themselves more because anything that I've done, I stand and tell it on anyway. I don't, get, I don't care about that. Okay. How do you feel about marriage in general? Um, I think that it can be beautiful for the people who want to be a part of it, but I think it's not necessary to prove your love. What do women really want? Security. Mm. Peace. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, men, one million dollars a dinner with Beyonce. Mm. 
Um, for me personally, I would take the dinner with Beyonce because I could make ten million off of it. So you take Beyonce, you know. Beyonce taught me how to think. Beyonce taught me how to monetize. Okay, so if I if I took the dinner with Beyonce, I would create a special that I would sell to Netflix for forty million dollars. Mm, okay. On period. And you say you so basically you say you take the dinner. Take the dinner. Sign my check. Pay me. Yeah, a I'm taking the money every time. Listen, you could take that one million. Beyonce could have took that eight at Coachella, but she made sixty from Baychella being on Netflix. I'm just saying, Beyonce taught me to think bigger. Okay. 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 Mhm. Cause they'd be like, "Oh my God, you got a private dinner with Beyonce? What happened?" Oh, no, you that, too no. can find out what happened at my private gym with Beyonce for six ninety nine. Bet, bet, we gotta move on. Okay, what feels illegal but isn't? What feels illegal but uh, keep the phone still on you. <sighs> what feels illegal but is not? Um. Taking trips that you didn't pay for. Why do relationships fail more often? Because people have no ability to communicate. Okay. Have a hard time communicating. You feel like children deserve apologies and explanation from parents? Yes. Yeah, that's that is very tight in the black community. Mm-hmm. That's their problem. Uh, men shouldn't go down on their knee when proposing. Is that true or false? That's a goofy ass question. Um, if they want to, men should do what they feel like they want to. You proposing like you could propose ten toes. If she loves you, she's gonna be happy with that. Are women easier to replace than men? True or false? Men are are men easier to replace than women? Are women easier to replace than men? A good woman is not easier to replace than a man. No. Mm, okay. You sharing your are you sharing your location with your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. I said, would you share your location? Would you share your location? For sure. Okay. He need to come. He need to know where to find me if somebody tried to kidnap me. Mm, what's the worst? To, what's the worst uh, toxic fan base? What's the worst? Uh, to, what's the worst toxic fan base out there? Are you asking me like who? What fan base is the worst is toxic? Anybody who believe in a GOP politician. Okay, 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 okay. Politics. Worst fan base in America. <clears throat> is a thousand dollars enough is enough money to live off a week? No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh well, not in America. Mm. So how much money a week you need to live comfortably? No, not in America. I lived off a thousand dollars for a month in Nairobi, but in America no man. I'm in my hand hand. Okay, I got a quote. Okay, when an obese woman poses in a bikini, the feminists call her confident, brave, and beautiful. And when a hot woman poses in a bikini, feminists get mad and say, ew, that's degrading to women. Truth is, feminists only support women they aren't jealous of. You agree or disagree? Disagree. Nobody disagree with that. I disagree because I think that the reason the women are saying that this bigger woman should be celebrated is because she has not been from the beginning and the reason that they're saying oh that's not okay for the slimmer woman is because she's the one who has always been chose from the beginning of my life i was called fat i was this i was that now people are like oh my god who's your doctor your body it's so amazing it's okay. just because of how society has inundated people to think that beauty okay. is slim. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. If you could run away from your life right now, where would you go? Be 
Fiji. Okay. How long does it take for you to fall in love? As long as it takes for the person to be lovable. What's your thoughts on people feeling comfortable to ask strangers for money? I feel like it takes a very brave person to ask strangers for money. So if you do that, I respect you. I feel I respect people that go out and get a damn job and fill out that I mean, I, But I feel like there's a certain amount of vulnerability <clears throat> that you have to have to ask strangers for money. A certain amount of backlash that you're willing to deal with for people calling you broke and old, stupid. Like, you got to be a brave person. And that's, I was taught that by my father. Like, if someone asks you for money, they had to dig from their depths to ask you for it. So just give it. Just, just give it. Cause my the way my pride set up, uh-huh. I never asked for nothing. So for me to ask for something, it take everything. Any good God. Okay, okay, we gotta move on. Uh, what shouldn't be embarrassed at all, but is. Saying I love you. Would you rather ask for help or figure it out? Hmm. Would you rather ask for help or figure it out? Fuck. I'm being real disrespectful right now. Oh. I. I. Ugh. I told the line. Like, I. Ooh. It's hard to ask for help, but I would. But I. Ooh. It was about last resort. It's my last fucking resort. I'm not gonna lie. I I would rather figure it out than to have to ask somebody because I haven't had good experiences with asking. What 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 what's your darkest desire? My darkest desire. That's a a moment. My darkest desire. My darkest desire. Is to see everybody who ever doubted me have to watch me be great. Okay. Okay. What's your biggest turn off? Incompetency. You said what? Incompetence? Incompetence. Incompetence. Okay. Can you go a day without talking to someone you love? If I have to. Well, put the phone. Can you, can you put the phone down somewhere so you won't be moving with it from me? If I have to. Well, you said what? If I have to. Okay. What is, what's the worst debate topic? Politics. Yeah. But it's like politics, religion, and sexual orientation are important topics. So why do you think people don't talk about those topics on the first date? I think that because people don't want to hate the person that they're talking to right off the bat. They want to try to understand them, but they can't. And when you differ on politics, sex, or religion, you know y'all can't live a life together. Okay. What's the benefits of dating you? I'm the fucking best. Okay. I grow people. I grow people. Okay, Drake. Drake. Okay, Drake. You the best you ever had, huh? Okay. No, it's not, that's not me big in my head. That's the truth of my... I got receipts. Okay, okay. I'm a Great grower, not a shower. Like, Good. I leave people better than they... than I found them. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Um... What's a hard pill to swallow? And then my mom was an abuser. That your mother is an abuser? Okay, okay. You need to get some therapy for that. Uh, Did. Okay. Are you kissing on the first link? It's the vibes of there. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Which one are you in this right here? Can you see it? 
Oh mm -hmm. my! Why y'all be always doing the booty thing? Okay, no, not the way that you got it. Like turn it a little to your right. Okay, Wh which one are you? Um, I am. Oh. <laughs> turn it a little to your right. Yep, yep. Stay. Nope. Stay. Yep. Stay like that. Stay like that. Stay like that. Turn a little more to the left. You're right. To your right. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that. To your right. Okay. Oh God damn! I don't know. Who, who's one are you? Um, I am that one in the second row. The second one in the second row. Okay. Want to give everybody three sixty? Hmm. Want to give everybody three sixty? Mm -hmm. Um, I can't, cause I'm winning the pulling right now. <laughs> All I got on is a shirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Sorry. Cool. I can't do all that. Okay. Okay. But there's pictures. Uh -huh. Right. 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 Keep the phone still for me. Keep the phone still for me. Sorry. Yeah, Stop fussing at me about this phone being sealed. No, I you, you moving it around too much. Moving it around. Just keep it. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Right there. That's good. Right there. Just like that. Where you from? From everywhere, I'm gonna lie. I can't tell people where I'm from. No, but there's well, no accent. You that's Alabama, and it's not Alabama. Though. No. Back, we got back, back to the topic at hand. Back to the topic at hand. I got a couple more. Name a celebrity with the insane face card that I'm just like, mm. yeah. Uh. Oh, no, I don't be liking them like that. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Insane face card. Somebody who I'll be like, oh my goodness gracious. Um, this we'll come back a lie, but I like Duke Dennis. Okay. You said who? Duke Dennis. He's a streamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's really more his voice than anything, but I mean, that's the best I can do for you because I don't really like celebrities like that. Okay, okay. Uh, if, um, okay, okay. At what age should you move out your parents' house? Seventeen. Huh? Seventeen. Seventeen you move out your parents' house? Okay, dang. A little bit too young. Okay, why do most relationships with women earning more never last? Because men have the idea that their their what makes them valuable is their money. However, they don't want any woman to want their money. And so in turn, when a woman decides to make her own money, they get offended. They feel like she's trying to put them down simply by being herself. So a woman who owns more money than the average man, they can't take it. They can't take it, they can't deal with it. What's the harder for you to say? I'm sorry, I need help, I love you. What's harder for you to say? I'm sorry, I need, I need help. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What's your thoughts about adulthood and what's your opinion on adulthood? I think adulting is trash. They should have told us from first fucking grade what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. And they should have told us, like, hey, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, blah, 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 blah. And then we would have been fine. We would have been fine. We would have been saving from then. I promise you, if they would have told me that property appreciates with value, I wouldn't have been asking for Jordans. I would have been asking my grandma to buy me a house. I know that's right. Generational wealth. Okay. Uh, is. Okay, okay. What's one thing you wish you could change about yourself? I wish I could change how much I don't believe in myself as opposed to other people. Okay. What's the craziest conspiracy theory you believe? Um, that <laughs> what 
the craziest conspiracy theory? Um, I have heard that um, there are aliens here and stuff like that. I feel like the craziest one that I believe is that they literally do things to make us believe other things. Like they put everything into music, into shows, into stuff to make us believe stuff so that we won't understand what's really going on. Like I believe that conspiracy theory. Okay. What's the wildest place you had a quickie at? Mm, the oldest. You said what? A restaurant back. The restaurant out back. It was like I was at work. My work bathroom. Okay. What bathroom you where you where you used to work at? It was a it was a restaurant called Olga's in, in um Detroit. It's like in East Lamb Mall and um it had to happen. Okay, okay. This is with a gal girl. I mean, hey. He said he needed it and I was like, mm, okay. He was a co worker too? Hmm? He was a co worker too? No, he didn't work there. He was a worker from outside. Like, I need to right now. And I was like, eh? Okay. Okay, okay. Interesting. What's the biggest lie in human history? Um, that we don't have control over our own lives. Okay. Okay. Appreciate you coming on, asking questions. Um, y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, J Reed TV. You got any questions you want to ask me before I let you go? Um, I'd like to ask you, what is the scariest thing you've ever been through? Uh, scariest thing I've been through is probably um, when I got locked up fighting in school, probably. I didn't know if I was going to get out of that. So that's probably scary for me. Okay, so what's the one thing you would never do again? Be with somebody who don't love me as much as I love them. Oh, Shabba! Oh! Yes! Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I respect that. This was fun. This was fun. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Appreciate it, though. Y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. J Reed TV. You subscribe, too. J Reed TV. We out of here. Thank you.